Okay, so we're at Teddington Lock. Our boat is off in the distance, right at the back there. And at Teddington Lock, you've got two locks. One on the right-hand side, which goes on and on and on and on and on forever. Right to where them white steps are is the end of the lock. You can get lots and lots and lots of boats in there. So that one's on the right hand side. And then you've got a lock on the left hand side. That goes as far as that end there where the blue signs are. Beyond that lock is the tidal Thames. water is at 10 past 1 in the afternoon and we've been told to get here at half past 12 ready to go down the lock to catch the high wall. Okay we're going down to uh, the lock at Teddington. We've got to be there for half 12 so a couple of minutes before. We've got an hour and 20 minutes to get from Teddington to Brentford because that's when they close the lock and we don't want to be out on the tidal Thames without going through that lock so um, fingers crossed here we are they've decided to open the right hand lock there's quite a few boats and off we go And away we go. We've got one hour and 20 minutes. So there's one, two, three, four, five narrow boats behind us. All in convoy. So what, was there seven of us in the lock then? There's more than seven. Oh, so we've lost a few along the way. <laughs> so we've just left Teddington. What did you think? Uh, I thought it was great. I thought it was easy. Yeah. Shh. Yeah. Touch wood. Uh, yeah, I'm touching wood. <laughs> <laughs> we've got that hardest bit to do yet, which is the turn onto the GU, the Brentford Lock. Yeah. So. It'll be <clears> fine. <throat> huh? It'll be fine. It'll be fine. There's barely a flow on the river, isn't there? We've, um, we've chosen a nice day to do it, haven't we? Yeah. Tomorrow's not supposed to be as good, is it? No. So um, we chose to come off a day early just to uh, make sure we cruise in the nice weather. Not so nice cruising in uh, rain, perhaps. No. We're fair weather motors. Twickenham Marble Hill, I think it is, in front. Looks very grand up there. Now at 10 past one, and that is high tide. So it's now the highest the water level is gonna be, and it will start decreasing from now on. And taking us with it. This is Richmond upon Thames.
we've got two bridges coming up now and um, they kind of don't line up so I don't know if you can see we're going to go through this centre arch and then a little turn to go through the next centre arch but when you're looking at this direction it is, looks quite peculiar lights over the archway that you should go through they're quite tricky to see um, and definitely very tricky from the back of the boat to see I don't know if you're gonna make them out but there's some two lights up there they're not lit but the next two are on this one so this is Twickenham Bridge but we've actually gone, I suppose Twickenham is perhaps to the left hand side and Richmond upon Thames is to the right of us. So that's Richmond Lock, but the uh, navigation under the bridge is open today. So we are allowed to go under the bridge instead of going through the lock. Okay, it's half past one. We've gone past the Richmond Lock which I think is probably over halfway. Um, the Brentford lock closes at half past two. So we've got, well, we're just under an hour now. Um, so we've got just under an hour to get off the Thames. Okay, so it's been um, quite calm. We're just picking up a little bit of movement now. And, uh, I don't know if you can see. As you're coming along, it's quite tricky to see. It's very, very tiny signs. But you'll see the flats and that in front of you and the cranes. I don't know if you can see, there's like a silvery um, monument, statue, Imagine it's a piece of artwork and we are going to be turning right. No, we're turning left. <laughs> Got me right and so my left's wrong. Here we go. So the tide really wants to take you over. You've got to really battle against it. Our bow thrusters have stopped working. The batteries uh, damaged the batteries. Um, a little while ago, unfortunately. So here we go, the uh, river wants to take you one way and you've got to head that direction. Without obviously hitting the moored boats. And there's a trail of boats behind us. And obviously, what happens when you're trying to turn the wind comes along.
just done the Thames lock at Brentford and now we've got to remind ourselves we've, we've got to go slow, very slow and it feels like we're not moving. <laughs> it is really strange after doing the Thames and sort of speeding along and you don't notice how fast you're going on the Thames until you come on the canal and then it's like going very slowly. 